Alright guys, welcome to Physique by Endo. It's March 22nd, 2014. I'm currently 227 pounds. So since I started my diet a few weeks ago, I already lost 18 pounds. And everything's coming along great. And today I had an arm workout. And I started off with the typical dumbbells. Usually I either start off with dumbbells or barbell curls for biceps. But if I'm doing triceps first, I either start off with dips or close grip bench press. Now a lot of people tell me that my arms are huge and they wonder how I get arms like that. And I tell them the same thing. Stick to the script, stick to the basics. Use free weights, train heavy, and push yourself. So the same thing I tell people is the same thing I actually do. So after the first set of just warming up, the 20s, I went to 40s, and I got 10 reps. Now I'm doing the dumbbell curls both arms at the same time. There's a couple different ways you could do this. One arm at a time or both arms at the same time. Today I decided to do two arms at the same time. I'm actually twisting it a little bit. I'm not just bringing it straight up. If you notice, it's kind of a hard angle to actually see, but I'm kind of bringing the dumbbells close to my chest. Instead of just bringing it straight up towards my shoulder, I'm bringing it towards my chest. So that's a little variation that was different from the last time I did dumbbell curls. So that's something you always want to try to do. Just add slight variations to your workout, and it'll keep the muscle guessing and keep the muscle compressed. So after the 40s, I went to 45s, and then I went to 50s for another 10. For the most part, my reps are slow and precise. I'm not using too much momentum. And if you can see from this angle, even from the start to the finish, I tilt back very slightly. I try to stay as upright as possible so I could just use my biceps. I'm trying not to use my lower back. I'm trying not to use my shoulders. So that's a good tip. Anytime you're doing any type of free weight motion, you want to focus on the muscle doing the actual exercise and not momentum. So the last few I had to fight for a little bit. And after the dumbbell curls, I went to close grip cambric bar curls. Now, I actually have a right elbow issue. I've had this issue on and off for the past probably about five years. It comes and goes. So for some reason, when I try to do the straight barbell curl, it always hurts. So I just do the cambric bar. And basically, it's a curl in the bar. And when my wrists are pointed slightly outward, instead of just completely straight, it takes a little pressure off my elbow. So this was the first set with the camel bar curls, and I did 10 reps. Alright, then I went to the 100s, and I also did 10 reps. Now I'm still low carb dieting right now, so for breakfast all I had was tuna and a tablespoon of peanut butter. So I mean, the fact that I'm pretty much on no carbs, my strength is still pretty good. And when you do lower the carbs, people who are dieting, when you do lower the carbs, you want to make sure you increase your healthy fats a little bit. I'll get more into diet in later videos, but this one, like I said, even though I'm low carb dieting, I was still happy with how strong I was during this workout. So the third set of the barbell curls, I went to the 110. And towards the end, I started getting a little fatigued. You can see I'm using a little more momentum, but I'm still trying to focus on mainly using the muscle to track and perform the motion. So for this one, I decided to look straight at the camera so you can see the different way that I'm doing these hammer curls. A lot of times when people do hammer curls, they bring the arm straight up to the side. I notice when I do it like this, I feel a little bit more of a contraction. It's almost like I can get a little bit more out of the muscle and hit it just a little differently. So I started off with the 50s, I believe, yeah, 50s, and I got about 12 reps in. So you see like I bring it up and at the end the dumbbell is about a half inch below my shoulder and if you've never done it this way give it a try and see how it works for you like I said I like how it feels so I tend to do this way I tend to do these hammer curls this way a little bit more than the traditional way which is having them keeping the dumbbell to your side instead of bringing it to the front of you so the second set I went to 60s and I got some more double digit reps in there either 10 or 11 I forgot but I'm still making it look pretty easy. I mean, if you were just looking at my face, you wouldn't know I had 50s in my hand. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. So, still wrapping it out. And as I said about the free weights, most of my exercises, no matter what body part it is, I stick to free weights. But in particular, more than any body part, people ask me how I get my arms that big. And as you can see from my workout, this is a 
typical workout for me. Dumbbells and barbells. This is the only thing I use for this workout. And for anyone trying to get bigger arms, this is what I recommend for them as well. So the first tricep exercise after I finished my bicep workout was close grip bench press. This is an absolute staple in my workout. It's probably my best exercise, I believe, for adding mass to my triceps. And the whole key to doing this exercise properly is your wrist and elbow positioning. Because a lot of people think just because they bring their hands closer, it automatically focuses on the tricep. But you also got to make sure your elbows are tucked in close to your torso as well. So if you notice, my elbows are pretty close to my thighs. And along with having my hands close, that's going to keep the pressure on the triceps. Anytime you're doing a pressing motion, you're going to feel some stress on the chest. But if you focus on the triceps, focus on keeping your elbows tucked in, you'll notice that you're feeling more on the triceps as opposed to the chest. And it's the same thing when you're doing dips. Just elbow positioning will determine if you feel more in the chest or the tricep. So the third set, after I warmed up 135 and I went to 225 for 10, I went to 275. And I felt pretty good originally. I did four. I thought I had more in me, but I only had four reps. And I was that for the close grip on trust. And after that, I went to the behind the neck dumbbell overhead extension. This is another great exercise, and I believe it adds more size to the bottom part of your tricep. Close grip bench press and dips, they add a lot of thickness to the big part of your tricep, which is the insert that's close to your shoulder, the bulkier part of your tricep. If you really want to get that horseshoe in the bottom part of your tricep, you really want to start doing a lot of extension exercises. And this is one of the best extension exercises, dumbbell overhead extensions. You could also do skull crushers and barbell extensions as well. I like doing this one more so than skull crushers or barbell extensions. So the first one I got I believe 12 reps in. Second one still double digits 10 to 12 and that was that for that exercise. And for burnout I decided to do kickbacks. I actually did five sets of this. I only showed one set and I went straight from the left hand to the right hand side and I felt like I had a pretty good pump, so I just wanted to see how my arms were looking. Still kind of sloppy right now. I usually don't vest and wife beat a thing until I'm shredded up. But I just wanted to see how my arm was looking. So it looked pretty big, even though it's still kind of sloppy right now. But it's all good. Every week, I'm getting more and more shredded. And as I post these videos, you'll notice. Every week, my face is going to get thinner, and I'm going to be looking better and better. So... I did about 15 on the left, and I'm also doing 15 on the right. And like I said, I did five sets of this. So that pretty much completed my workout for the day. And to those who are trying to get their arms bigger, try to do this workout and let me know how it worked for you. All right? So once again, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, Physiques by Ando. Right now I have 14 subscribers. I'm trying to get as much as I can by the end of the spring. Hopefully a few hundred. Once again, thank you.